Much love and appreciation, family. So for all of the brand new men's and women's shirts that you see and, and the limited edition sneakers that you see here, please visit the comment and or the description below the video. Thank you. There is a fifth dimension beyond which is known to black men. It's a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It's the middle ground between black and white, between racist and bigots. It lies between the pit of white man's fears and the summit to his knowledge. This is a dimension of imagination. It's an area in which we call the Seji Zone. Today, we have a story filled with confusion, white tears, and white explaining. Here, we have Oklahoma City co-anchor, Jason Hackett. He's young, bright, ambitious, and highly melanated. Jason has an open mind and thought that if he pulls himself up by his bootstraps, receives a great education, and lives in a nice neighborhood, that racism, discrimination, and bigotry wouldn't be an issue. But obviously, we know that not to be the case. And here, you have Alex Hudson, co -anchor. She's young, white, and free. She married her husband, Reagan, her high school sweetheart, and has two dogs named Bentley and Lewis. She grew up in a small town in Texas where she earned a bachelor's degree in broadcasting journalism and a minor in political science. She also went back to acquire a degree in racism and how to attract a black man, but obviously she didn't finish. So we will see what happens when one man's imagination clashes with the reality of today's society here on the Seji Zone. Okay, you have to see this. This is Finn. We're about to show. Oh my goodness! Take a look at him. He's a resident of the Oklahoma City Zoo, and this week the zoo's eighth caretaker took over their Instagram, and we are all loving that they did. And as you can see, Finn was fascinated. Definitely ready for his close up. Right? Tell us thank you. We want to turn to an important message from KOCO's Alex Housden and Jason Hackett. I'm here this morning because I want to apologize. Not only to my co-anchor, Jason, but to our entire community. I said something yesterday that was inconsiderate, it was inappropriate, and I hurt people. And I want you to know, I understand how much I hurt you out there and how much I hurt you. I love you so much, and you have been one of my best friends for the past year and a half, and I would never do anything on purpose to hurt you. And I love our community. And I want you all to know, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize for what I said. I know it was wrong, and I am so sorry. Well, Alex, thank you very much, and, and I, I do accept your apology, and I, I do appreciate your apology. Um, I want to let everybody out there know that Alex um, is one of my best friends. I mean, we do what we do here, and, and you know, it's not as if we see each other here and then we leave and we go home. We talk every day, or almost every other day. Um, I've told you things, I, I've, I've shared things with you a, as a friend, and I, I do appreciate you and I do love you. Um, all that being said, uh, and Alex would be the first to admit to this to you, what she said yesterday was wrong. Um, it cut deep for me and it cut deep for a lot of you in the community. I've heard the, the phone calls and I've heard the Facebook messages as well. And, and, and I guess coming out of this, I want this uh, to be a teachable moment. And that, that lesson here is that words, words matter. There's no doubt about that. And as you can see, Finn was fascinated. Definitely ready for his close up. Right? Tell us, like you, we're going to take a picture of this. Tell us, actually, yeah. Um, changing demographics here in this country. The demographics are changing. We're becoming a more diverse country. And, and there's no excuse. We have to understand uh, the stereotypes. We have to understand uh, each other's backgrounds and the words uh, that hurt, the words that cut deep. And we have to uh, find a way to replace those words with love and words of affirmation um, as well. Um, you know, what we do here as broadcasters, uh, we use words. Words are the, the tools of our trade. Much like a, you know, a plumber would use a wrench or a doctor would use a scalpel, we use words. And, and our goal and what we need to do is use those words not, not to hurt and not to divide, uh, 
but to build a more perfect union. And uh, this is going to be a journey for us. We're learning things here. And uh, we at KOCO5 hope that you join us along on this journey. So what are we to take from this? We have some that believe that this is an unfortunate mistake, that she didn't really mean anything by it, and that those judging need to have thicker skin. While others say that she is a product of today's society and that she needs to be fired from her job, like yesterday. Or as quick as you are not to answer the door when Jehovah's Witnesses come knocking. Is Jason Hackett a fool for accepting her apology or do they know and understand something we don't? The final thoughts are yours and yours alone here in the Sedgy Zone.